Ready na ba kayo? Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, ayun na nga. Pangatlong lesson na natin to. And I hope nandito pa rin kayo para samahan ako. This time, we're going to discuss about solving quadratic equations by using factorization. I hope marami na kayong natutunan so far and this time I'm going to give you another math tutorials for grade 9 mathematics. This time we're going to discuss about solving quadratic equations, ngayon naman solving using factorization. So kung bago ka sa channel ko, please do subscribe, like, comment, and hit the subscription button para naman updated ka sa mga susunod pang videos gaya nito. Tara na, simulan na natin. Ayun na nga, for this method of solving quadratic equation, we have to consider two forms or two variations ng quadratic equation in which this method is applicable. First is ax squared plus bx equals 0. So kung mapapansin nyo, nawawala yung c. Pwedeng-pwedeng gamitin sa kanya ang uh, factoring if ganto po yung form na makikita ninyo. Secondly, yung ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, which is the complete form ng general quadratic equation natin. So, focus muna tayo sa first form, which is yung ax squared plus bx equals 0. In arithmetic, we have learned that the product of any number and 0 is always equal to 0. For example, 2 times 0 is equal to 0, 0 times 8 is 0, negative 6 times 0 is 0, and 0 times negative 7 is 0. That is the zero. property for multiplication, which is any number multiplied to 0 is 0. Sabi natin kanina, applicable siya sa mga forms of equation na magpa-pattern sa ax squared plus bx equals 0. Now, let's say for instance, we have um, x squared minus 4x equals 0. How are we going to solve this using factoring? First and foremost, we have to get the common monomial factor for each of the following term. We have to consider x squared and yung negative 4x. What common factor is present among these terms? Diba yung x? So, we have to bring out x and ano yung natira? So, we factor out x. May matitirang x minus 4, correct? Equals 0. So, by this time, we equate both factors to 0. Separate muna natin yung mga factors natin. In this case, we will have factor 1 as x and the factor 2 is x minus 4. These two factors should be separated and then equated separately to 0. So, magiging x equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. Do you think x equals 0 has already been simplified? If yes, then that is our answer already. Then, we have x minus 4. What do we do here? We add the negative inverse of negative 4, which is positive 4. Then, equate this to 0 plus 4. Adding both sides, yung ating additive inverse. Then, we cancel this out because that will be 0. Then, x is equal to positive 4. Then, this will become our second solution. So, the value of x are 0 and 4. No? Kung babalikan natin yung 0 property, kaya nawala si c dahil siya ay 0. At kapag pinagmultiply mo ang 0 and 4, 0 talaga yung magiging constant natin. That's why. So, I will be showing to you guys some more examples under ax squared plus bx equals 0 than their solutions, okay? 
moving forward to the next is the second condition na applicable yung factoring natin when we have ax squared plus bx plus c equal 0 form of the general quadratic equation. Ngayon, kapag lahat naman ng terms ay present, what we are going to do here is to think of the factors of the last term, our constant c. Let's say we have to think of factor 1 and factor 2. That when we multiply them, then the resulting number should be equal to the last term. And upon considering these two numbers, if we add them up, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 naman, on the other way, it should be equal to b. So, dapat dalawang numbers na pag pinag-multiply equal sa last term, tapos yung dalawang number na yon pag pinag-add mo naman siya, equal siya dun sa middle term. Let's take a look on this example. We have x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Now, what we're going to do is to list down the factors of the last term, which is 6. What are the factors of 6? We have 1 times 6. We have 2 times 3. Now, considering these two pairs of factors, which do you think among them will give you the sum of 5 when you add them together? This is 1 times 6 equals 6. 2 times 3 equals 6. Pasok sila sa first condition parehas. Now, we get their sum. 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. And 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Which do you think between these two will result to the same value as our middle term? This one. Then therefore, we could factor this out as the factor of 6. We have 2 and 3. Then we have to get again the factors of the first term x squared. So we have x and x. Then, copy the sign of the factors we used here. So parehas siyang plus. So plus plus. Now, after getting the factor, we proceed to equating the factors to zero for us to extract the solution. So, it will become x plus 2 equals zero and x plus 3 equals zero. Next step is to add the additive inverse of 2, which is negative 2, to both sides of the equation, then solve x is equal to negative 2. Likewise, we have here x plus 3. We add the negative inverse of positive 3, which is minus 3. We have 0 minus 3. Then, cancel this out. Then, we should have a final answer of x is equal to negative 3. There you have it. We have our 2 solutions here. For other examples, kindly try to study the following slides that I will be presenting. And for your practice, I want you to answer the following items. So, ayan, nag-enjoy ba kayo? Natutunan nyo ba? At may question ba? You can comment down below for clarification and additional information so that's all for today see ya next time please do subscribe comment follow and share para maraming matuto like you bye